never underestimate the healing power of the arts. In VA medical facilities across the country, the creative arts are used as rehabilitative treatment to help our veterans recover from physical and emotional challenges. My involvement in creative arts has, uh, it has helped me, it's given me hope, it's given me something to live for. It's just been a terrific experience and it's just so uplifting and you know, so I'm just grateful, you know, I'm just really, really grateful. Well. It gives me a chance to express myself by reading my own poems and my novels or short stories. Uh, the creative arts helped me come from a very dark place. And your support, through donations of time and money, is making a difference in the lives of veterans all across the country. The National Veterans Creative Arts Festival co-presented by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs and the American Legion Auxiliary, recognizes the accomplishments and recovery process of America's veterans through the creative arts therapy of dance, art, music, drama, and creative writing. In 2019, the festival will be held in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and will be hosted by the Battle Creek VA Medical Center. Over 120 VA medical facilities submit entries into the annual Creative Arts Competition. Gold medal winners from the national competition are invited to attend the national festival for a week of workshops, rehearsals, fellowship, culminating in an art and writing exhibition, and a live stage show production. The competition is open to veterans who are enrolled at a VA medical center or outpatient clinic before entering local competitions. The therapeutic value to participants is striking. I, I think this is a, such a great therapy treatment. It is really matched up with my PTSD treatment. My involvement in the creative arts has allowed me to look at some of the past trauma that I've experienced in the military, to get in touch with a less traumatic way of expressing it, and it's allowed me to um, connect with other veterans that also have similar stories, but yet portray or express it in different ways. When I first got back from overseas, uh, the ghosts and the demons that were brought back with me um, held me captive. But through uh, the veterans' um, uh, administration, through their hospital, and through the activities, uh, I've been able to, um, to open up more. I'm finally becoming the person that God meant for me to be. Teaming with the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, the American Legion Auxiliary is co-presenter of the National Veterans Creative Arts Festival, providing both significant financial support and volunteers. That support begins at the local level, providing resources and volunteering at VA centers across the country. It culminates at the National Festival, a moving event that takes place in a new city each year. Many say American Legion Auxiliary volunteers get nearly as much out of the competition as the veterans, often describing it as a life-changing experience. Want to find out how to make your membership matter? Become involved in the National Veterans Creative Arts Festival by working with your local VA to encourage participation, by volunteering either at the local level or at the National Festival, by simply attending the festival and supporting the artists, by donating either as a unit or individual, and by spreading the word about this program. Regardless of how you're involved, you'll be enriched beyond your imagination. The public is invited to the art and writing exhibition and stage show performance on Sunday, November 3rd at Miller Auditorium on the campus of Western Michigan University. The art and writing exhibition opens at 12 noon and the stage show begins at 2 p.m. For complimentary tickets, call 269-966-5600, extension 33939. For more information about the National Veterans Creative Arts Competition and Festival, go to www.creativeartsfestival.va.gov. Learn how you can make your ALA membership matter by contacting American Legion Auxiliary National Headquarters. Use our main line at 317-569-4500 or on the web www.alaforveterans.org.